Hey guys, Frank here, your virtual general aviation aviator, and today I am back in the PC-12. It's been a while since I've been in the PC-12, but I do have it in FS economy, and lo and behold, I had it locked, so that meant that, that nobody could fly it but me. Um, so, I do mean and want to leave it unlocked. Anyway, I am. I picked up some assignments flying three passengers from Richmond, Virginia to Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm ultimately trying to get the aircraft back to Charlotte. So, let's get started here. All right. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and, and turn on the batteries. Battery one and two can come on. Um, external power is not hooked up. Uh, go ahead and turn on the standby power and um, next we'll go ahead and get it ready to start it up. Yeah, me. By the way guys, I, I didn't show you the aircraft from the outside very much, but I'm in the car and not a PC-12. Um, I have been flying the STMA PC-12, but, um, but yeah, I switched back to the Coronado. Go ahead and start it up. All right. So, go ahead and look up here. Hold this. Just tap this starter button. I don't have to hold it in this version, which I think is a, is really unrealistic. I wish they had fixed that. All right. Go ahead and turn the condition level up. And it starts to get fuel. And I want 52 on the NG to, to denote a good, uh, no, on the IT, no, on the NG to denote a good start. So I am getting a good start here. All right, so let's get some avionics on. Missing those. All right, so inverters can go on. And avionics one and avionics two can go on. Let's go ahead and enter our flight plan. And my route is to fly directly to Hotel Papa Whiskey. Uh, let me zoom in for your benefit. Hotel Papa Whiskey, that's 14 nautical miles from where I'm at, so I know I've got the right place. I want to get on Victor Airway. Uh, Victor Airway, Victor 1615. And we're going to exit at Duffy. And then we're going to go direct to RDU. So we load that. RDU. And then direct to Fifth. <laughs> Excuse me. So I wound up having to slew the aircraft to the position because without my rotor pedals, I don't have a lot of control. Hopefully, I can get it to track straight down the runway, but. If I run off the runway to take off, then it is what it is. Um, I actually tried to to um, set up a profile without rudders, and I think to do that, I wound up having to reboot the sim, and I didn't want to have to go that far. Anyway, so let's get started, all right? Uh, let's continue. All right, so let's get these lights on. Uh, landing lights can come on, strobe lights can come on, and condition level can come up to flight idle. And we're on runway two zero. We are uh, the winds are the winds are two six zero at six. Um, sky conditions 9,000 few, temperatures 18, dew point 16, uh, temperature 2978. Let's get that dialed in. 2978. I'm not going to confirm that. All right, because I want to get in the air. All right, landing lights are on. See, traffic. So, guys, again, if I run off the runway, it's because I don't have any control. But um, here we go. happen and I don't have any control fortunately stuff is not solid ob objects so now that I'm airborne I get some control try to correct hit this and get back over the runway and kind of doing a, a low approach 
That was funky. All right. Out of flap range, so we'll take the flaps out. All right. Clear us up. Flaps again. Then the lights can come up, go off. Take the lights and go off. And let's try to get our climb where it should be. All right. Uh, one of the, the other reason I'm doing this flight is because ATC, uh, FS Economy. To, main, to have this, to own this aircraft in the FS economy, I have to pay them right at $5,000 a month. And if I don't make any flights during the month, then I actually lose money. Now, I'm going to make probably about $2,000 flying it to Fairville. But hopefully, you guys, any of you guys who own the FS, the, the, PC-12 and fly FS economy will go to Fairville and fly it around and wherever I find it I usually will pick it up and try to get it back to Charlotte. All right so let me see it's like weather has changed and I am in the 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 X-Plane 12 days uh, we're at beta 12 at this point and so, since I've been flying that, I'm not used to seeing these drastic weather changes. Even though I still fly FS, um, I still fly X-Plane 11 because I've been concentrating on the Challenger by Hot Start, Hot Start which right now, it still take me over an hour just to crank that plane up to get it to get it ready to taxi within the Challenger Hot Start. The other aircraft that has become a favorite is the Citation 12 in X-Plane 12. I'm sorry, the, the Citation 10 in X-Plane 12. Um, one thing about the Citation 10, a lot of people, a lot of us like to call it the Citation X. Nope. It's not the Citation X, it's the Citation 10. Um, and I've learned that from real world pilots who fly the, air, the who fly the 10. Anyway, the, the 10 is a default aircraft, which means that a lot of the, a lot of the systems that are modeled are not modeled very deeply, but it's still a decent aircraft considering its default. Now, I know that there is a guy who had been trying to redevelop the the 10 in at explain.org and I got a video that I made long ago uh, where I took that aircraft up and flew it and landed it um, and kind of Am I overspeeding? Yep. Let's pull that back. Watch that speed. Yeah, I should. I should be. Yeah, I'm not really paying attention, am I? <laughs> All right, that. Let's see. But anyway, um. Yeah, so what I was saying is that with the with the 10, uh, there was a guy who who has been trying to model that. And I don't think he really got very far. I think he really is learning programming. I could be wrong, but uh, I know he said he was in school. And so he took the project, and it may have been a low priority for him. Uh, I think it is. A, it was a low priority. But anyway... Along came X Plane, along came Laminar Research, the maker of X Plane, and they 
redeveloped the 10 and created a relatively decent version of the aircraft. But again, a lot of the systems don't go deep enough to make it a lot of to make it as, as immersive as it could be. So I appeal to you developers to either develop a a payware version of the 10 and I appeal appeal to the community to grab the Laminar Research version of the 10 and mod it so that it will become a a really good GA aircraft because it is a heck of a lot of fun to fly. It flies with the Honeywell, the Honeywell um, avionics suite which is a really scaled down version of what the the airliner suites look like so to speak. Uh, it's based on the same avionics suite that, that you find in the Boeing, uh, it's based on that pro line. Anyway, yeah, so. Getting our landing lights back on. Alright, landing lights and come on. And got that out of the way. Need to get our Aidas for a fair uh, That's COM 2. AFL RGNL Gratis FLD Information Zulu. 1400 Zulu weather. With 240 and 8, visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 2200 overcast, 33,000 broken, temperature 21, 2.18. Altimeter 2984. 22. Arriving runways 22, 28. Departing runways 22, 28. Advise on initial contact, you have Zulu. Maybe you heard that again. So 2-2 two, two is going to point me to the west, so I know I want to enter on, on the east. So I ought to break out the clouds at about 2,000. That's what I need to know. Altimeter 2984. Arriving runways 2-2, two, 2-8. Two, two, Departing runways 2-2. Two, two. Advise on initial contact, you have some loop. And I really need to set my altimeter. <laughs> I missed that. Bayville RGNL Granis FLD Information Zulu. 1400 Zulu weather. Wind 240 and 8. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 2,200 overcast, 33,000 broken, temperature 21, 2.18, altimeter 2984, arriving runways 22, 28, departing runways 22, 28, advise on initial contact, you have Zulu. Alright, so, 
I want to go to the east. So let's find a hidden book. Oh shit, what the hell am I doing? Let's do this. Let's see, what do I have here? Alright, let's get rid of the, the sound. find the airport because I you know I never tend to get in the fairful without losing my airport for some reason I want 2-2 two -two. it's the aircraft you guys see my aircraft on this chart Remember I was talking earlier about staying ahead of the aircraft and I really fell behind it. Alright, so Alright, so I to get rid of this guy here. in so I can see my try to get get straight and level here. Let's, let's stop oscillating. 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 Oscillate. This is the runway right here we want, guys. And want to get down to 16. Go ahead and throw in some flaps. can't see the airport, the Octave the runway, so I got to kind of feel for it. I know I'm going to be on a really short final. Uh, flaps in, landing, let's get the gear All down. Right. Alright, so there it is. So if I call this base, and it's, it's be on an extremely short base here. More flaps. Twelve hundred. I want about five hundred feet on the descent. Thirty degrees of flaps. The gear is down and in the green. All right, let's get lined up. Traffic should be at about four hundred feet.
thought I got a 500 foot call out, but not hearing one. No flaps. I mean, no rudder. And no brakes. So, so yeah. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Oh no! Right. <laughs> I landed. I can't break. I landed on the taxiway. And we are in. <laughs> that was this whole flight was ugly. <laughs> no, not the whole flight, but the landing was ugly. Um, takeoff was ugly, landing was ugly, and approach was ugly. But the in route stuff was, you know, it just deals with the deals. I tell you, I actually got from RDU to Fairville a lot quicker than I thought I would. And we let these passengers out. And that concludes this flight. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next time. Y'all come back now. Cheers.